Hello today's video we have the following content. Lee C, my father is Jet Li, my mother is Wong Qian, and I am a left behind child. In 1991, three-year-old Lee C looked at her mother Wong Qian, who was crying loudly, with a confused look on her face, not knowing what had happened at all. Before she burst into tears, her mother received a call from Hong Kong. Lee C knew in her heart that the person on the other end of the phone was her father, Jet Li. I am not happy with you at all. We always quarrel. This is not good for our daughter. We should separate. As soon as her mother hung up the phone, she hugged her and her sister tightly, and her tears kept falling to the ground like beads, falling into her and her sister's hands. She couldn't figure out what her father meant by what he said to her mother. She didn't know at all that her life would be completely changed in the future. In 1988, Lisi was born in Los Angeles, USA. Her father was Jet Li, a very popular kung fu superstar at that time, and her mother was Wang Qian, a somewhat famous fighting star. Born in such a family, Lisi could have had a superior life and become a socialite like other rich girls. She was just one year old, and her sister was still in her mother's belly. At this time, the family was in name only. In 1989, Jet Li wanted to seek development. Encouraged by Wong Qian, he accepted the invitation of a Hong Kong director to shoot the movie Dragon in the End of the World. At that time, Wong Qian could not have imagined that her encouragement would indirectly let her husband meet another woman. Jet Li met Li Zhi. Li Zhi was beautiful and had a good figure. In this way, he fell in love with this extremely beautiful woman regardless of everything, and had completely forgotten his pregnant wife and his one-year-old daughter Li Si. In 1990, not long after the second daughter was born, Wang Qian learned about Jet Li and Li Zhi. Pain, sadness, disappointment and anger, a bunch of complicated emotions rushed into her heart. She didn't know how to release these emotions, so she was led by these emotions and quarreled with Jet Li, wanting him to take responsibility for the family. However, it was useless. In 1991, Li Si took her mother's hand and returned to Beijing. Then, she and her sister stayed at her grandmother's house and watched her parents, who were very sad, leave. She didn't know at all that they were going to get a divorce. She just remembered that from that time on, she and her sister lived with their grandmother. Jet Li got the custody of the two daughters, and Wang Qian got the house in Los Angeles. After getting married, Wang Qian stopped acting and devoted herself to her family. Now, in order to maintain her life and repay the mortgage, she can only go out to work and earn money. However, after all, she hadn't worked for many years and had no other special skills, so she couldn't find a suitable job for a while. When Wang Qian returned to Los Angeles, Jet Li was still in Beijing. Although she didn't know what happened, she saw her mother and grandmother hugging and crying when they said goodbye. Li Si felt vaguely that if her father left, she might have a hard time seeing him again in the future. She and her sister hugged their father's legs tightly, crying and shouting, Dad, don't leave, we want to be with you. The sisters crying and shouting made Jet Li's heart ache, but this could not stop him from leaving, he was really too busy. In this way, Li Si and her sister became left behind children. The sister was still young, and under the careful care of Zhang Fenglin, she soon stopped feeling sad about the separation. Li Si has been trapped in the emotion of separation, thinking of her mother in her heart, hoping to return to Los Angeles to live with her mother, and looking forward to seeing her father at any time. However, because she could not pay the mortgage, the bank took away the house, and her mother had no place to live and almost had to live on the streets. Fortunately, an old Chinese lady was kind and pitied her, so she took her in and let her live in her basement for free. From then on, she either hid in the dark basement and starved, or put all her hopes on God, kept running to the church, and prayed that her condition would get better soon. My mother was busy saving herself. My father was also busy, just for the true love in his heart. Jet Li was busy making movies at first. He kept running around in major film studios for the past three years. He used the more than 70 million he earned to pay off the debts of Li Zhi, who failed an investment. He said, Li Zhi is everything to me. Then, he took Li Zhi to participate in activities everywhere, and in front of many cameras, he expressed his deep love for her. Later, he was busy preparing for their wedding. Even if he returned to Beijing sometimes, there were other things that were more important than her, and Li Si had no chance to talk to him at all. As hopes were shattered again and again, Li Si grew up slowly and gradually understood some things. In those years, the media did not talk much about the love between Jet Li and Li Zhi. She knew the truth, and everyone around her knew it. 
After knowing that her father was gently, classmates or other children always laughed at her for being abandoned by her father and that she would soon have a stepmother. She didn't believe it, so she ran to ask her grandmother. Zhang Fenglin was stunned by the question, didn't know how to answer, and finally said nothing. She called her mother and asked her mother to come back to her place with her father. Wang Qiyuan just choked up to comfort her, saying that as long as she behaved, her father would come back. Lisi asked her grandmother for her father's phone number, and dragged her sister to call him, just to ask him to go home and not be with other women. However, she remembered the number wrong the first time, and remembered the number the second time, but no one answered the phone at all. It was winter at that time, she held her sister's hand and stood blankly by the phone booth, with snowflakes all over her hair and shoulders. Perhaps on this night, her heart was cold because of being surrounded by snowflakes. In 1999, Lisi finally saw her father again. He rushed into the house with a smile on his face. She knew that her father was going to start a family with that girlfriend. The media had already reported the news, and even the Hong Kong media mocked, loyalty is worth more than a heart. Her father told her that he planned to take her and her sister to Hong Kong to attend his wedding. Lisi resolutely rejected his request. She already knew her mother's living conditions over the years, understood the truth of their divorce, and knew that when he married her mother, he neither had a wedding nor took wedding photos. She had no choice but to hate her father in her heart. From then on, she rarely responded to his letters or phone calls. She gradually became less talkative, more withdrawn, and rarely communicated with other people. Perhaps, Lisi relied on this change to silently fight against the current situation. However, resistance was useless, and another heavy blow came to her again. In July 2000, Zhang Fenglin was killed by cancer. Suddenly without her grandmother who loved her the most, Li Si cried bitterly at the funeral. She didn't know how she and her sister would live in the future. When she hugged her sister and cried, her father came to comfort them, asked them to go to Hong Kong with him, and said that Aunt Lizzie would take good care of them. After hearing his words, Li Si couldn't help shouting, my sister and I don't want to live with you at all. Maybe he felt the hatred in Li Si's heart, and gently felt guilty about them. The children didn't want to live with him, and he really had no choice but to make up for them and send them to aristocratic school so that they could receive a good education. After that, he also tried to find time to go back to Beijing to see the two children. At this time, he and Lizzie had two more daughters, and he was so busy taking care of his pregnant wife and young daughter. Li Si still ignored him, and even dragged her sister into the room. No matter how her father tried to please her outside the door, she just didn't open the door. She once had such confusion, why did she become Jet Li's daughter? If she was born in an ordinary family, maybe she would not be laughed at, nor would she have to see news about him every day, and maybe she could have a complete family. At that time, she did not expect her father to come home at all, but only hoped that her mother's condition would get better soon and take her and her sister back. Wang Qiyuan's life was much better. With the help of her friends, she opened her own barber shop. But because of this barber shop, she could not take care of her daughter wholeheartedly. Moreover, Jet Li had custody of the two daughters, and if she wanted to take the children to her side, he had to agree. In 2004, 13 years later, Jet Li called her again from Hong Kong. This time, he hoped that she could persuade her daughter to be less resentful of him. Wang Qiyuan said, Children, I am with your father voluntarily, and no one forced us to separate. Since we are separated, we are both living comfortably and happily, so don't blame your father. Because of her persuasion, Li Si slowly stopped harboring hatred. Gradually, she was able to communicate with her father calmly. As for whether she forgave him or not, the answer was clear in her heart. After letting go of her hatred, Li Si finally got what she wanted in return to her mother with her sister. In 2006, Li Si was 18 years old and decided to go to the United States to find Wang Qiyuan. Although she was still boarding at school and could only meet with her mother on weekends, Li Si felt that this was already pretty good. Just a year ago, her mother remarried and lived a happy life. She got along very well with her mother's new family. Her stepfather was honest and gentle. Not only did he care for her mother, he also played the role of a father in Li Si's life. At that time, Jet Li used the names of Li Si and her sister to give her a wedding gift worth 50,000 yuan. Mother had a new happiness, and the previous grievances with her father had completely become a thing of the past. Her relationship with her sister and her father became more relaxed. This Christmas, she sent a greeting card to Jet Li, who was far away on the other side of the ocean, with the words, We gave Dad a coat, 
with peace as the collar, auspiciousness as the sleeves, happiness as the buttons, and joy as the lining. The shadow cast by that failed marriage on the mother and daughter seemed to have dissipated unconsciously. In 2010, Lacey graduated from university smoothly and worked in a cultural company in Los Angeles. The little girl who once sat on the ground and hugged her father's legs and cried and refused to let him go has now grown into a graceful young lady, and there are many people around her who pursue her. However, she didn't seem to want to start a relationship at all, and even those who pursued her stayed away. At this time, she was only 22 years old, and it was still too early to get married, so Wang Qiyuan didn't think there was anything wrong. As Lisi got older, Wang Qiyuan became anxious and kept urging her to get married soon. She did not hide from her mother that she did not believe in love. It was not until then that Wang Qiyuan realized that Lisi was afraid of starting a family. The shadow cast by that failed marriage could never disappear. From 1991 to 2006, Lisi and her sister lived back and forth between her grandmother's house, her uncle's house, and her aunt's house, or lived alone at school. In those years, she worked hard to make a living and could only see them twice a year. Their father, Jet Li, was not only busy with his career, but also had to take care of his newly formed family, so he met them less often. Moreover, due to his special profession, there were always reports about his past with his mother Wang Qiyuan, his new family, and his other two daughters. So, during those turbulent days, when she was pitied and ridiculed by countless people, her parents failed to comfort and protect her in time, nor could they make explanations that would make her understand. She could only swallow her bitterness and tears. This undoubtedly made her, who was still young, gradually lose her sense of security and trust in the family, and finally turned it into a ruin. Wang Qiyuan and Jet Li seemed to think that as long as she could get rid of the resentment in her heart, everything would be normal. You know, if the sense of security in the family and the trust in love are broken, it will be difficult to get it back. Now, 33-year-old Li Si, even though her parents keep counseling her, the shadow in her heart has not dissipated. She still lives alone. In fact, many children who grew up in single-parent families will make the same choice as her. Some people say that if there is no love in the marriage of two people, and only quarrels and conflicts are left, then they have to separate to create a better growth environment for the children. Some people also say that in order to prevent the children from being affected by the breakdown of the family, and not being looked at with strange eyes or ridiculed because of being a single-parent family, the marriage must be maintained. Don't just focus on whether the family is complete or not, you should think about how to take responsibility for the children. This responsibility is not just about raising children, but also about educating, accompanying children, caring for children, and communicating with children. If after divorce, both parents can always love their children and take up the responsibility instead of ignoring everything, perhaps single-parent families will no longer be the reason for people to laugh at them. For those who have psychological traumas due to single-parent families, whether they choose to get married or choose to live alone, as long as they can live a happy and fulfilling life, that's fine. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,